Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to my garage. So I thought I'd make a quick video on fuses um, because I've every now and then I, I watch videos of new people. Uh, they end up in my feed, and I click on them, and I notice there some of them out there are making the same mistakes that I made. Uh, so I'm going to make a quick video on the fuses that you should be using and where you can get them. And let's do that. So the fuses I use between the panels and the charge controllers. Uh, they come in different sizes, all the way up to, I believe, 60 amps. And here they are on Amazon. And what you got there, that's it. And as you can see, they're not all that expensive. Uh, next would be the fuses that come in between the charge controller and the battery. Uh, get them from Amazon, too. Same kind of fuse. Uh... As you can see, the line goes right through here and down over to the battery. Let's see if we can find them here. And these are those. Uh, and they come in different sizes themselves, as you can see. There's all the way up to 100 amp, 20, 30, 40. And they're reasonably priced, too. They're 12 bucks, 13 bucks. Not expensive. And as you can see, it's a Renogy. ANL fuse. And then the last ones I use are the ones that I'm putting in between the inverter and the battery. And that'd be this one here and got one here just like it. And those fuses are also an ANL fuse. But they're not that expensive either. And as you can see, they come in larger and larger sizes. My camera will focus on it here. 200, 100 amp, 150. So that's about it. That's a, a quick video. As you see, I started with one of these. Uh, and, and I see a lot of other people making that same mistake. Uh, I think those are actually audio fuses. I don't know um, for sure. Uh, I definitely feel better about these up here. Uh, they definitely, definitely inspire a little bit more confidence anyway. So that's it. Have a good day, everybody, and a better tomorrow.